Hello the brew crew and other fellow wedlocker and here we are again uh, I am the espresso cat and we are back with my experimental series here uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby uh, wedlock and yeah um, like I said in last episode we just I just cut out that and uh, uh, what's called wallets catching tutorial or whatever it's Call even if I think it's pretty nice because they kind of moderated it was not just a random person catching it but it, it was him that had no idea that it was catching it I think it was better than it was in Gen 1 and Gen 2 and such and like it is probably in Gen 4 as well so we uh, run into a Chalo here so we will try to catch it now uh, just switching out here because I'm worried about the pack here. Yeah, not the best pair maybe for uh, a Taylo. Uh, but luckily we have a lot of HP here. So I go for a quick attack. Hoping to get it down to yellow. But sadly, of course, it, that was necessary, Rose. It was not even a crit, it still just one shot at uh, the tail of. So we will get a second chance here in the forest. Uh, or peen. Uh, uh, now I can't remember. Pe Pedalberg Wood, that's what it's called. Uh, so yeah, level 5 now. I guess it was higher level. So that was pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I will. I was so worried of knocking this out as well because I'm probably going to say that Taylo is one of my favorite Pokemon in Gen 3. Uh, it's not my favorite of all time because Absol clearly said if you can see my uh, icon or yeah that I have on YouTube. But Taylo is probably my favorite Sardin bird and I don't know if it's really top 10, but it's definitely one Pokemon that I really like from Gen 3. It's maybe like my fifth favorite Gen 3 or whatever. So yeah, I mean, uh, as you can see as well on the sidebar, I decided to go with the sprites on uh, from Gen f uh, 3. Uh, yeah, the original because I don't like I don't really like the 3D models. So yeah, we decided just to go with the original there. And yeah, as you can see, we I did just record this right away, so we had no chance really to uh, we had no chance really to uh, level up uh, Umbra and uh, Illinois. So yeah. We just heal here and yeah, pilot I named um, Kalo here, so that's a pretty cool name. Uh, so, uh, Bug Catcher Lyle, uh, this is the one that has the free worm pulse. So, that was why I decided to cut out some of these. Um, yeah, because it would be a hassle for you to see everything. Uh, but we get decent experience here, and pilot can take care of them all. So yeah, feel free to tell me as well what you think of the layout and such. So yeah, we... Actually, the worm pole there, as you can see, I believe this was the last worm pole. It still can do a decent uh, chunk of damage though, so... It was a little bit worrisome since we could not really switch since the yeah, pilot is a lone wolf so far. And Lyle is defeated. So yeah, uh, you probably saw there because I have in the rules that should you saw that rich guy. I did not battle him, but it was just because we will battle him in a later episode, but I believe he, uh, both he and the lady on the other side, they both have 6 Sagoon and they're very high levels. So I wanted to make sure that I'm like at least over level 10 to 
deal with that. Uh, so here we have C dot. I don't know how this train is probably traded. That's the only. Uh, or no, no. This is this is Ruby, right? He he has probably <laughs> find it, but in Sapphire, I believe he. Uh, or Alpha Sapphire, he has uh, as well a uh, C dot. Or now I'm uh, kind of unsure, but I'm pretty sure he has that. So yeah, here we have um, another Talo, but Pilot is the superior one and takes it out pretty easily. So yeah, and going through the Pinwell Forest today and dealing with. Team Magma, I believe it is in this game. So yes, you're switching up, uh, up here a little bit. I, I believe uh, again, I did decide not to go for both of them. And also, I like to keep it very like the females on one side and the male on another side. I'm going to oh <laughs> it just takes too little fast to read there. Come on and bell me. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing that I'm able to read. I don't know. I might it was difficult to just figure out how long I should kept the screen on to read or whatever sometimes so I might not be able to read everything. So he has switch out Wurmple here, so I believe, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's still no name, but I believe it's in, um, I have given it a name now, but it's, you will see it first in episode 7. Uh, I believe, yeah, it's late part in the name right there, so yeah, it will get a name eventually. So Howl is a little bit sketchy, but uh, still Rose can take it pretty decently. That tackle did a lot though, but we have Absorb and can heal up a little bit of the damage ba uh, given back to us. It's not too much, we just get one uh, health point there, so. But Wormpole does get to level 7 and will evolve into yeah there are two it's probably it's always pretty exciting i think i don't know if i'm weird but you never know what if you will get a what's called cascoon or uh what's the other thing called i can't even remember but it's also coon and if you will eventually get the dust tox or a beauty fly and so that's pretty nice. I've got gotten both in the uh, yeah when I did the nav wedlock there so uh, off screen. Uh, but I think definitely uh, dust tox is sort of better because then we are not four times weak to rock. And secondly, we have res double resistant in the second gym, so that works out pretty well there. Crisis! Well, we will see about that. Hopefully, it will not be too much of a crisis. So here I just uh, heal up, I believe. Or no, I t take on the experience share because I thought, oh, we I don't want to use it right now. And. Uh, I'm probably just going to use it in grinding when uh, everyone needs to go up like to like it is here level 14 but then when one have reached level 14 we will not get them up too high because elsewhere they would be over level and not uh, available <laughs> to bell or to use them in gym battle so uh, Ninkada, I think it's weird that there's has a Ninkada since you can't even get the Ninkada. I'm pretty sure that's first on the route after route 122. I might be mistaken, but 
think it is that route, so... I don't know why he's in this. It would make more sense if it was, but I guess it is forest, so I guess all the bug catches are there. And right after this um, forest here, we will. Uh, there are some uh, berries as well that we can pick, so we will get them. And uh, I did not plant uh, so many berries in the beginning here, but. Uh, Later on I actually did that and now my cat comes in here and talks. I don't know if you can hear him. <laughs> Just like <laughs> Chroma's dogs. I guess you will see, I don't know. Sometimes the, my microphone doesn't pick up everything but sometimes it does. He's so talkative. Or she's so talkative. So <laughs> cuddly right now. She's really old, but uh, she's like almost, yeah, she's 15 years old. Because she is really cuddly with strangers as well, so that's <laughs> pretty cool or pretty nice. Almost too friendly. So, yeah, we get uh, some orange berries there. I almost <laughs> threw the wrong and go on use there, but in the end I give them all the orange berries just for safety. And here I wanted to skip the um, lady there and we managed to do it. And uh, actually we had time, I thought we would just go through the forest, but since there are not too many trainers, I decided as well to uh, do the last trainers here on route. 104, I'm pretty sure it's gone. <laughs> I don't know. It was a while since I played uh, those or like in free and such. I did play them just when they come out since I had that blind uh, Aslux. But a wedlock is almost every time more fun, I think, because. You can't just switch to whatever you want, and sometimes you are in a situation you don't know what the other trainers have, but you might just choose have chosen the wrong team, and then you just have to make the best to make sure to go through that situation with no casualties and try to like strategize even if you are odds are stacked against you if you know what I mean so yeah we get uh, Orenberry <laughs> animation there first time so I go for Harden since I'm hoping well poison sting doesn't do anything here uh, so um, yeah trying to minimize the damage as well but then I realize, oh well, if if I stay in here, we will be here forever. So I just switch into Rose again and uh, to let her deal with this shroomish. Uh, yeah, sadly we. Uh, I would love to use a shroomish uh, because I think it looks very cool and such. And I have not really used it too much. Slack would be also really cool. It's really rare. Uh, Pokemon that's even rarer is uh, Surshit on uh, or Surskit, I should say. Pronunciation. Um, you can get on route 203, and uh, so yeah, it would be in really cool, uh, like maybe not the best Pokemon ever, but sort of underused, and you don't see too many using it, but. Yeah, sadly, it's very unlikely to get this, even likelier to get the route. But most of the time, you just get either a Puchiana or a, or a Sigzagoon, so, oh well. But we, we will take whatever we get, I will not complain. And, uh, yeah, sadly, I... What's it called? Rust Durf... Turf... Um, tunnel. 
You can only really get one thing, so there's a little bit of fortune, but we will end we get our uh, wish murder later on. Uh, I believe it's not in this episode, so here I try to just attack the Lothad because we don't want to feel <laughs> really see dots rage here, that would be awful. So Lothad is out, so I believe we went I go for a lot of Harden here and Lear just to make sure that um, we get one one time here bide uh, after that uh, poison sting. So we do thus a uh, whole month, as you can see. So yeah, always were about uh, bide there. Luckily, we poison it, so that's how out a little bit there all these uh, double battles they are very sketchy as well and uh, not this battle but uh, some battles that comes up be uh, because they can just sort of um, prioritize on attacking at one and it would be really scary then so yeah go for the Harden then, and then it's outreaches, so yeah, do, do the whole mount here. Uh, but luckily, we should it should not be a problem. Next turn, we will finish them off, and uh, we have. Uh, I did. It was a fisherman after this, but I did not do him because I knew that he has like two or three magic carp. I did battle him off screen, so you don't have to worry about that. Decided not to battle him on the screen because I thought, well, it's not super exciting. So I might do that with some of the trainers if they ha have like similar Pokemon or whatever. And so yeah, and Rose goes up to level 12 as well. And so we will just make sure to go forward here. And in the next episode, we will head to... P Peterburg City. So thank you all for watching. Have a good tea and a good coffee day. And I see you soon again. So bye!